Hey, what's up, guys? I'm hopping to a video. Play some mono red painter today. Um, back to roots. Play some reds. Great. Um, uh, hopefully, you guys can see me. The light's just too strong. I apologize. Sometimes it gets like that, but it is what it is. Um, we're going to try out um, this list today. Um, I'm expecting um, the Mercurial Spell Dancer, the new hotness from the Delver Boys. Do we even call them Delver Boys anymore? I don't even know. It sounds like the Mercurial Boys now, uh, just very unpredictable, uh, weird. I don't know. They do all types of shit. Let them do their thing. They're festering and, you know, it's all inbred stuff. It's okay. God bless. I, I used to be a blue-red guy too, but we'll uh, we'll hang out for a few minutes. Um, lightning Bolt, um, Six Blasts. Um, Trying out Braze Apprentice today, which is fine. Um, I haven't tried this card in a long time. It's been a bit for me. I see a lot of people trying it, playing it. They like it. I like it too. I'm just going to switch it up. I'm not like, there's no reason for it for me particularly. I'm just, you know, I had the um, the uh, the Lightning Greaves, which I thought was pretty cool, but I just could do without it. I really could. I'd rather play the deck in a way that's, you know, very value-oriented and, and high power. And, and the answers that I have, are high powered answers in lightning bolt, power blast, and fury. Um, and I have everything else I need, I think, for tools in this deck to win the game. Um, I have a beatdown plan, I have graveyard mitigation, I have um, tokens I can make with there as a saga, I have draw, I have, I have draw abilities with Phyrexian, uh, Phyrexian Dragon Engine, Freddy's Apprentice, um, Fable and Mirror Breakers, another value card that's great in itself, could be a win card in itself. Um, and we have our Goblins Recursion, we have Painter, a Grindstone combo. And we have Fury. My sideboard is looking like this. Um, Braze, uh, Mind Break Traps back in on the menu for me. Um, Thorn of Amethyst. I've been seeing, um, I don't even know what, what's out there right now. I can't even decide. I am. I do like Leyline. A lot of discussion still on Leyline, Surgical, Fairy Macabre, stuff like that. I know a lot of people like in Surgical, Fairy Macabre, four Fairy Macabre, three Surgical, you know, four Leyline. A lot of the people that are using Leyline in the void, it seems like. There's a discussion on, you know, Blue Red Delver. Do we bring it in against Delver? I've tried it three or four times. I've never really liked it. They've just eat through it. I don't know if it's just because it's MTGO, but it's like, you know, Brazen Borrower bounces the ley line and they squeak through. A lot of times they have the 1-1 one -one creatures. It's just, it's just, um, I know it shuts down a good portion of the deck. It's very good, but you have to, you, you have to draw. I mean, you can't draw the card three, you know, on turn three. You can't not have answers and just apply the pressure. I don't care for it. I know some do. I like it. I, I have Leyline particularly for um, the um, the reanimator matchup, where a lot of times it's just this card, and I'm on. I mean, sometimes they you know they fade out on that, but I, I find that a lot of times I'm not going to sit there with surgical in my hands against reanimator. It just it's, they always have unmasked. They always have grief. You know what I mean? So I rather have them have an answer for Leyline. Um, Fury, of course, is a great card. We all know what's going on. Magus, I just don't feel good without. Some people just don't even play the card. I think the card is very good still. There's a lot of matchups where they just it just wins games on the spot, and I have no problem playing Magus. Uh, Braid is another good answer for like the Chalice of the Void or any kind of artifact bullshit. Um, I like having two copies, but we'll try one today. I just I've always liked the Braid. A lot of people just never really played it. They usually lean on Karn to kill Chalice and stuff like that, but. I'll bring it in against other. I'll just. I like the card. I think it's versatile. It's fine. I like it. Uh, Red Elemental Blast for whatever. Like I said, I'm expecting some Mercurial bullshit today. That card seems like it's, you know, people will fucking love it. Another cool card. Um, Pithy Needle, uh, of course, and Thorn of Amethyst. So let's take a quick download of the deck, see what we have in store for us, what we can draw into, what we have, what we're packing. Let's hop in real quick, see what we can find. Um, like I said, I've been on a mono blue kick for a while. The deck has been phenomenal, fantastic. I think it's got a lot of good, a lot of, a lot of leg, a lot of good um, attributes to it. But um, you know, of course, mono red is where it's you know is where my heart is. I mean, my heart's everywhere with all the painted decks. But um, you know, see if we can tune in here and, and get a good league in real quick. Try it. Um, lands are a problem here, but I, I do have answers and shit like that, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a Mercurial boy. Um, of course, this guy's going to try out the best decks. I'll start out with a Soul Banger, I guess. I wouldn't mind a Mountain or a Great Furnace here. It would be a good draw for me. Um, so we'll see. 
That's a fine draw. That's the reason why. I mean, I I added that card. Could that could be an extra Simeon Spirit guy or something for me? He might even daze this because he's got his mercurial. I don't even know how the card works. We're gonna have to read it together. Um, so I like lands. Lands are good here. I'll probably just lead out on a um, Brave's Apprentice here. That way, there I have you know. See if Woody plays. This is his thing. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to save my my. Uh, Let me see if I can't get a. Play a painter out too. Days is it's fine. Question is this guy packing bolt? Um, I'll just name black. I mean. Is he packing, packing his own red blast? I have a feeling the card, you know, he's going to kill Goblin Welder anyway. Um, so does he have, you know, are they packing red blast because of, you know, the Mercurial Spell Dancer? They want to have game against that, against the other guys. I haven't seen red blast at a painter in a while, but the fact that if I name blue, it turns on their Force of Will, Force of Negation. So there's a reason not to, not to name blue because um, I don't have a blast. So I'm just going to name, I think, a different color than blue. I'll name black. All right. And we're going to go. <sighs> so clearly looking for a wasteland here. It's usually the crux of the, the game here. Hey, cut the shit. Stop it. Hey, stop. Mine's a lightning bolt. Okay. What happened now? He plays a Vogue. What's he hit? He's got a hit welder here. Yeah. That's fine. Yep. And attacks? No. So it's instant, so he's got to have a creature in the graveyard. Let me see if I can't draw a, um, I got five cards again. Land. That's good. Um, let me see if I can land a Braze Apprentice here, or I can, I can land another Painter and Bolt this thing. I know I have Fury, but we'll wait. So he has, I'm going to try to, I'm going to melt this graveyard, I think. It's just the right play here. I know I had Fury, but I just, I think that using my mana appropriately here is good. Now he kind of has to start over again. I know he might have a Wasteland Bolt or whatever. It is what it is. But I kind of need land drops here. I mean, I do need land drops, so. Okay. So what happens? He gets to copy all this shit. Start with a lightning bolt. Okay. Put on one card. So what happens here?
Hey, see what his last, see what his last card is. What do you pitch? Raising bar. Okay. That wasteland too is gonna kill me. Okay. I know Weasley is saving up a saga. I'll have a daze. Please. I knew this card was going to be an issue today, but it's all right. Well, I need to experience it because I need to play against it, so it's good. Three guys now in hand. Let's see what I draw. Mark Tide region, I guess. <laughs> See if I can't draw something here. I'll just name, um, I'll name blue, I guess. So this dude's got no cards in hand and he has some, he has some stuff coming out. So that's nine damage. I have to actually just draw the So Even if I do, I don't think it's good. Um, Hey, what's he get here? Expressive or something? Does he have a play? Oh, he gets exile or something. So that's eight, nine, ten. I go to six. Okay. If I can rip something good, I mean, it's going to have to be grindstone and ancient tomb. <laughs> yeah, it has to be exactly grindstone or a blast. I'll take a blast too. I think this card is good. He just drew very well. Um, this is my tomb. Fine stone. Ah, oh, the list.
I mean, do I play out this fucking thing? I think I have to play out this. Uh, I think I don't think I. I think I lose anyway, right? I'll play out the tune. I mean, he's in the draw a shitload of cards. We'll just watch it happen, I guess. Espresso's like the best card with this game. Just so happens that this all comes together perfectly for him. And it's usually the case with kids like him, um, where it's just like, So he has the expressive in his hands. So he's basically drawing two cards and playing a land, etc. If he finds a wasteland, I think I just lose. I'm gonna have to just kill I have to find a bolter of blast or something. I'm top deck and I'm not I'm not getting ahead. I mean if I I mean if I top deck a grindstone, it's good. See? What did, he, what did he do? Was he packing his own pyroblast? Okay. We'll play with the grindstone. I'll be upset. See, they were packing pyroblast. So all my, all my, um, everything I've said was correct as far as this card, as far as pyroblast being made in their deck. So. It's the reason you guys say, oh, why do you guys, why do you name black and white and all these colors? It's because of this reason. And it's when I do name blue and, I, and I'm like, oh, well, I don't have a pyroblast or a pyroblast in my hand. And I'm like, oh, I'm just going to name, I'll name blue just in case. And I name blue. It's like the pyroblast comes out. This kid's so good for this shit because it's like, this, there's like two or three guys out in the leagues that it's like, no matter what you do, it's like the alter section of things are going to happen. It doesn't matter how much you narrow it down, whatever you do. These boys are like, they got a horseshoe up their ass. It's like the draws come out perfect. The top two cards are always exactly what they need. You know what I mean? No matter what you do. And they do, and they do well. You see them up there in the trophies. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. I can't, I, it's good. It's not a bad thing, but um, I'm just saying it's so typical of um, some of the leagues out here. This guy will play around Fury, I think. I think Braze Apprentice will be fine. I can cut a Lotus Petal, I guess, for... Um, I mean, I'll, I'll leave the Fury in. That's fine. Let's try this. Here, I'll be in the play. Let me try this, I guess. Now, the player like this, there's a reason to think about this deeply. And I mean deeply is what, how I'm trying to fucking sequence this, all right? And what I mean by that is I play out a turn one welder, he, he plays a land, and then he bolts it, right? So what I want to do is maybe I want to play out a turn two welder and then go from there. I don't know. I, I'm going to keep this, but we're going to try it. I mean, there's reasons to think like this because I have days back up, and I can get the tempo out in my favor. And try to win. Now I need to draw like a Braze Apprentice here. I need I need a creature. If I don't draw a creature or a red blast or an answer, I'm gonna be in a tight 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 problem here. So um So if I don't play out Goblin Mother, he untaps, plays like a Dragon's Race Channeler, it's worse for me because he gets a scry. I'll play out the Walder. It's fine. I'm just trying to think how I want to do this because every play does matter. And there's ways around stuff. There's way there's no like, yeah, we have plays, we put them through it, but there's also ways around it. What's the matter, kid? I guess I just start with a um 
the engineer, see if he bolts this thing in response. See what I get here. I'll uh, just get a Forex Gen Dragon engine ready pitch. Oh, he's playing the third path, the kind of class. Cool. It's cool. Nice. What's his strength here with that card? I think he's just going Mercurial style, huh? Jeez. In a wasteland. Okay, so I can play through days. See if he has a play here like a creature. This kid's is sensitive too. He can he can feel these. Some of these guys, they're like, they're like in one of them fucking baths, like in fucking what's it, Vanilla Sky? Like the psychics are in the fucking like they're leaning like in the salt water bath. Their heads are up in the air. You know what I mean? It's like they're reading people's mind. The ball comes down. Like Tom Cruise is like, oh, whose number is this? I'm gonna go fucking find them and arrest them before it all happens. You know? Kids are sensitive. You know what I mean? He's got his fucking white Nikes tied up real good. His socks are real fucking tight. Shave his arms too today. I'm kidding around. You got am I any days? You got five cards. That's good. Now this Mercurial Spell Dancer is going to be a problem, and that's what he's trying. These guys are trying to set this up like hardcore. You know, it's like their dream come true. Um, so I'm going to play around days. I'll let him have his card. I guess what does he get? Like a Misha? Like, of course he's got the baubles and shit. And there's so many cards that he doesn't have to have, but he has. Okay, I don't really care about that card. I guess. I'm going to save my blast. Surgical? My what? My dragon engine? Okay. Got three cards. It's better than having a painter surgical. I guess I can pitch an ancient tomb here and maybe even a simian spirit guy. Draw two cards. Um, and if he wants to trade, I guess it's okay. I got to keep this blast for good things. I don't mind drawing all blasts. You know, I can ignore the, um, the, uh, Ignore the the fury for now or the um rhinestone. Um that's good. See if this guy left his pyroblast in. Three cards. Okay, get a one card. It's fine. What do you pitch? A wasteland. See, that's the problem. All right, you can see that I got there. And I want you guys to see, too, I could have got myself into some deep trouble there because I pitched Simi Spirit Guide and an Ancient Tomb. I didn't draw a land. If he, had, if he had an answer and then a wasteland, I would have been really in, in some trouble. So I kind of went balls deep there, and maybe I should have been a little more patient, but it's good to see that. Sometimes he got to. It's part of the deck is decision points like that. So now that I see that he's playing the third path Iconoclast and, like, Misha's Baubles and shit, it looks like he's more into, like, getting the Mercurial Spell Dancer online. And he's got, what is it, Pyrokinesis in his deck and shit like that. So I think I'm going to bring in this copy of Fury. I think it's very good. And... um. 
Everything else looks pretty good. I have to cut a card, which is kind of tough. Um, I saw a surgical, which is really weird. I think I can cut. Um, I'm going to cut a copy of Painter. Call me crazy. Let's try this. I never do this, but I'm going to do it here. It's like I'm going to be playing a little bit of a control game on the draw. Yeah, the hand's fucking pretty good. I have everything I need, really. And he might try, a guy like this would try to bait out a spell with, like, Mercurio's, like, you know, his first play. They don't even play Delver anymore, huh? It's fucked up. I can let this card do do its thing. Um, draw. He's in the fucking bath like this, like the psychics from Vanilla Sky at the movie, like Tom Cruise. They're like this. <gasps> She's like, oh, the girls, they hit something. They're like, oh, oh, he's like fucking reading me. He's like, oh, what's he got? Oh, what's he going to paint through a goblin wealth? Should I clean my mercurial yet? Fucking Delva boys. Come on. Fucking love you guys. There's a couple of sensitives out there. A couple of the kids that get all nervous when I talk like this. They fuck, oh, go, you know, I love the game. If you guys can't take me kidding around like this in a good way, and I'm kidding around in a good way, I love the deck. I think it's a great deck. This kid's a fucking good player. Like, all due respect to everybody. I love the game. I love the format. I'm kidding around. you got to have fun. If I'm going to sit here like this against a deck that I've seen about 800 times and the kid's played it 800 times, and if you can't have fun with the way these things get played out, I don't know what to tell you. All right? I'm kidding around. All due respect. All right, that's a good draw. I'm going to keep going with my mountains. Five cards in here. I'll blast this. He might even fucking want to um I'll play out my ancient tomb and try to get a fable out here. Even though it takes me off of red card fury, whatever. And this is Wasteland. I knew he had one. Yeah, surgical my fire blast, he might. Um see what he has here for me. I might use a blast here. Mercurial spell dancer trigger. So he's got sorcery land. I'll, I'll fight back. That's fine. And if he surgicals, he probably has a surgical in his hand. Oh, I let it happen. That's fine. It might actually help me. <laughs> Shit. It's fine. I think my hand is good enough where I want to keep all my cards anyway. I think I'm going to keep the Goblin Welder up. I That's going to be my bait for Fury. I know he has a removal spell. So we'll see. I might want to counter a cantrip here too.
think this guy has a meltdown, so I'm not going to make a creature here. I'm going to hold off. Um, we'll get a soul guide lantern here, I think. And we'll hit his um, expressive. Now, I know he's in, he's got something. He's got a lot of cards. It could be wrong. Um, play this out. I'll play this out. I'm fine with this because at this point, a meltdown, I can draw a card. Um, And I'll hold everything else up. This way here, I can I can draw a card off a Soul Guide Lantern off a Meltdown. I can pay for days, shit like that. Um, play the board a little bit. Um, so three, four, five. I mean, he can cast his Murktai region. We'll see how I feel in the upkeep. Might have to use this now. That takes me off of Mox Opal, but that's okay. I'm just going to count on this card. Hey, it's good. You can make a creature now, get Mox Opal, get things on. That's a great draw. What do I have? I have shit in my graveyard. Um, I'm going to make a creature here anyway. Fine. We have Pyrokinesis or whatever. Goes to three cards with a Force of Will. It's good. Got something, I don't know what it is, but let's see what it is. Meltdown, pretty good meltdown. Ain't gonna lie, sure. Grind myself here. I can get um, a Soul Guide Lantern if he plays a Fetch Land or whatever. I want to kill my Goblin Welder here. I'll probably get the. Um, okay. I'm going to save life, not know myself. If he wants that meltdown, I know he does. So what he's going to want to do is fetch at a time where he can put that on top of his library. And I will weld out my creature for a Soul Guide Lantern here, which I'm fine with. I'll play out this land, too. You might want to start with a lightning bolt here.
I'm gonna take a draw step and not mill myself. So I draw. The good thing about this is the targeting ability with um with the construct. Um Pyrokinesis. So I'm gonna weld this out for this. So this is where he um, fetches now. I can still grind the top of his deck if he fetches in response. And so if he decided to fetch, get the thing, I could just, like I said, manually grind him. So that happens. I can draw a card here, which I might want to do. Um, it's fine. Let me draw a card. Three cards left. Go to one card, force the will. I have to fight back here. So he gets to put a pyrokinesis on top if he needs to, which is, I guess is okay. I don't think he's going to do that. Two cards. Sure. Checks me out. Fetch. Could be a murky boy. Good draw. Attack him. I know we might have surgical here, so I'm going to get the dragon engine anyway. Um, gotta be careful here still. I'll get the dragon engine, I guess. Get around surgical here. I'll wait a turn. Sure. One card. Uh, draw step. Bolt. Is that, is that lethal? It is. He needs another bolt here. See if he has a uh, surgical. Who's the aggro deck now? What? Good games. GG's. I want to play with my new toys. Come on. Good game. I, I, I like this kid. I give, him a, I give him a heart too because he's a Delver boy. And we're, we're going to change the name up a little bit. It's going to be Mercurial Boys because it's very uncertain out here. We, it's a different field. Guys like different cards. I like cards. Things are fun. So good games. Love you too. Let's take a look at the deck. I was coming prepared. I had my tools, right? Red Elemental Blast. I had stuff going on. Let me get some more coffee. All right, let's see what we got. Let's tune in a little bit. Come on, guys.
Let's go. What we got we got some we got a nice fucking list going on. We got a beautiful thing happening. Beautiful things are happening. We got great cards. We're well suited for the meta game. Pack and Braze Apprentice is back. She's back, back in red. You know what I mean? She's coming in nice. She's got a nice suit on. You know what I mean? She got the nice outfit. It's like what do they call it? The mithril? The mithril from back in um the Hobbit or whatever it is. Pretty sweet. Um she's doing well. Um we got lightning bolts, four packs. I suggest you guys go for lightning bolts and blasts, six blasts. I almost went seven, but this didn't feel right. Um, I think we can uh, raise apprentice, semi spirit guide. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Sure, I'll go and play. I'm going to try it. I have two Saga. If I didn't have two Saga, I wouldn't do this. See what I'm up against. Kind of a risky hand. Always get a Mox Opal here and start. Let's see how it goes. Kind of pressed into making creatures and doing this in Legacy. Making tokens in Legacy 1, 2, and 3. But I mean, if I can get ahead, you know what I mean? I would love us. I mean, if I can rip a Simi Spirit Guide here, if I rip a mountain, I might just be, into, I don't know. See what I'm up against, how I feel about it, you know? Mm. So he's mulling a five. This tells me it could be like anything combo. I can tell the pace too sometimes. It's kind of weird the way things go. I'll start with the Urza Saga. And I'll pass my turn. Okay, what do you got? You have five cards. What are you gonna do? Dark Ritual Doomsday. I got you. Okay, you got three cards now. What's my best draw? I mean, I'm gonna play. I'm, I I gotta draw. What's my best draw? I don't even know. Pithy Needle might be my best draw. I don't even have a Pithy Needle. What's my best draw? Um, maybe. Semi Spirit Guys start. I don't even know. If I draw a grindstone, I lose. So I guess for this matchup here, we just, you know. I like my Magus the Moon. I like Trap. I like Blast. And I like Needle and Thorn of Amethyst. I like a lot of, a lot of these cards. Um, try it like that. Told you it was combo. You kind of get a feel. Just the way the pace goes. You know what I mean? It's, it's like a sneaky feel. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I'm going to, you know. Like this, like sly feel, which is good. It's combo. I like combo. I'm down with combo and legacy, but it's just like that feel of like, um, is this good enough? I don't know, but it is what it is. Let's see what we got. So one, two, pause, which is like you know a lot of you guys know the stacks. I don't. I just pay attention. To it. Like right now, the second card from the bottom is telling me it's the pause. There tells me it could be on the second. So, what's my best draw here? Let's see. And then Lotus Petal, and then what? You have, actually have a win on turn one. So, he might have put this card in his hand now. So, what was my best draw? I don't even know. I mean, a mountain would be cool. Don't right, tell me you have it. You do, don't you? Turn one kill. That's how filthy this deck is. Okay. Okay. Game. He's like, oh, I can't even start. I can't. I want to. I want to really stop, but I can't. Um, I think Magus is good. Like I said, Thorn's good. Needle, I can name. Um, Street Wraith, whatever. Um, so let's cut some of the obvious. Let's just streamline real quick. Um. Fury's just not good. 
I have 60 cards here. I like keeping a Dragon Engine in because it just gets me there sometimes. Um, Pithy Needle's good for, like I said, Edge of Autumn. Street Wraith, uh, Soul Guide Lantern doesn't need to be in the deck. I can cut that for something. Oh, there's another Magus hanging around. I didn't bring in. You guys didn't say anything to me. Why? Um, so that's it. Everything else is pretty good. Grindstone's a good bolt, another avenue to win. Um, and streamline. So let's try this. All right. I know what I need to do. I know, I know what I need to draw into. So let's try it. Submit. So it's a good split here. Thorn of Mindbreak Trap of having these two cards. Uh, Magus of Moon's another good card. So I have a good solid seven, eight, probably eight cards. Three, you know, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and um, and the Pithy Needle. So I have eight board cards. I don't. I mean, Needle's kind of an extra, but um, it's not a bad sideboard card. But I have some cards. I would rather not have Thorn. I mean, it's an avenue, but it's kind of like, like I said, I think Magus of the Moon really is really good. Blasts are really good. And, I mean, any cantrip gets hit. Wouldn't mind, like, a hand with, like, two mountains. There's a saga, you know, a couple blasts, Magus of the Moon even. You know what I mean? Magus is a great card in this game. I'll be able to play. That's excellent. I have to keep it. Um, question is, so Urza Saga comes out on turn one. I play out Grindstone. If Grindstone gets countered, I'll have a stone earlier. I just gotta, I gotta keep it. I'm not even worried about this. If I play out Painter turn one, I think I do. It'll force a will out of him. Um, that way they can't. Really thought sees me, but I can play for these next turn. There's no reason to not play all painter here, right? I'll just name, um, do they play Force of Will? I'm just going to name blue and I'm going to show you guys my payment for naming blue because, you know, if I try to resolve something soon, you know, it's just like, I think it's fine. If I draw a red blast, it's fine too. Now, if he surgicals my grindstone, it's a different story. Last. That's a fine draw, I guess. Thorn of Amethyst, a mind break trap would have been fine there. I have the win next turn, God willing.
There's a reason to play out. There was so listen to me, guys. Playing on Urza Saga there is gonna be risky. I don't know what's in their deck. They could have bounced. They could have killed Painter in response there with the with a trigger on the stack, so I couldn't tap for mana. So it might have been a reason to um play out a um And I'm not thinking of Emrakul cool in that deck either. Another card I have not on my radar. All right, I got lucky. So I, I just want you guys to hear me when I say this. Recently, it's been with with Initiative. It's been um, were they born in? I had a kid with uh, Mono Red recently, born in Kozlik, um in his sideboard. So I went to hit him. I had the win on board. He, he you know, he had Kozlik in his deck. Shuffles back in. I hear, I've been hearing Initiative is doing the same thing. I've been hearing Guy's Blessing, too, um, and Elves, things like that. And these guys might be moving to Eldrazi, too. They used to do that. So between my player versus Saga, with them, and that goes not just for this game, but for any match individually moving forward. A heads-up player, a lot of guys in MTGO heads-up. And in paper, too, but if you go to player versus Saga, the mana tap abilities on the stack, Trigger whatever, so they can hit something without, and then oh, I can, I can hit them in response. No, you can't because you don't have mana. So pay attention. Every play matters. I've been through it. I've seen it. I'm just letting you guys know, right? Pay attention to the Aldrazis and guys blessings, whatever. All right? I don't think I'm doing anything different here. Um, all the same. Let's see what I got. Mulligan. I need a good hair. I need like a mind bridge drop or something. Take a little breather here for a second. Use a Magus in the Moon, a couple mountains, maybe an ancient ancient tomb mountain, pyroblast, mind break trap, Magus in the Moon. Oh boy. Um I have a turn one blood moon here, so I think I get rid of engine here. Or land. I get rid of a land. Oh, uh, it's fine. I think I do that, don't I? Or not? Oh, what plays we have? I don't think I want to go for a turn one Magus here. I think it takes them off. I think I can start like this. I can I can play this slower. I'm not even going to think about this. This will really hamper him because he's going to want to do his thing. You know what I mean? I might even just pyroblast this back. So he gets his doomsday, um, like a dark ritual cost him two, etc. etc. Thought seize, etc. cost him a few bucks, so we'll see. Here was doomsday.
The days in the graveyard. Um, many cast doomsday. Sure. Okay, so I have a Blood Moon coming out. So he's going to want to get a Lotus Petal here, maybe. I don't even know. I need a Land Drop. I think I played this correctly. Um, no matter what I did, if it was Magus the Moon, he would have fetched in response. Um, he can't force the Will Magus now, so I think Magus is my best bet. And now Thorn of Amethyst is good. So kind of a combination of things, but I would love to draw... Um, like an Urza Saga would be pretty good here. No, it can't be. It'd have to be a mountain. Or a mountain would be good. <sighs> I don't even know what I'm going to do here. i got to figure this out. I'm just thinking if there's anything I could have done differently. I mean, if I had played out Engineer there, I mean, what do I get? I can get, you know, Painter Grindstone. Um, I think it's better to hold up Red Blast here. I really do. Um, playing out a Magus like I did didn't affect anything because he could have fetched. Um, it's kind of a hidden thing now, so I want to catch him with that. So, um, you know, I think a Mountain would be one of my best draws here. Even a mind break trap would be excellent. I mean, it doesn't matter because Thorn Thorn catches him here anyway. Let's see what I do. Let's take a look at the pile two together. One. Okay. They only play one swamp, right? So Thorn's out. You can't cast his thing. He might even have a lotus petal with him. Which would suck. I need a land drop, dude. Let's see, let's just follow the stop here for a second. I need to untap. So he's going to play out a Lotus Petal here. Looks like he's going to try.
that's killing me. You have a lotus petal, does it matter? <laughs> I love you. What happened? I don't know. There's some aficionados out there like, oh, if you did this and if you did that, I got pinched. I was pinched like this, like handcuffs, like this. It's like, oh. I couldn't do nothing. I had my thorn of amethyst out. Listen to me. I played this match at probably good games. GG's, bro. Um, Um, I played this matchup, I don't know, enough about me, but I'm going to tell you guys what's up with me. I, there's a lot of guys, I've never really studied the, uh, the artisanship of making doomsday piles. I shut down when I see them get made, because it's just like, okay, but I should know better. Um, what's the point of my story is exactly what's going on. I think the way I played this was fine. Um, I was pinched out of my own thorn of amethyst. If I wasn't, it would have been different. Um, I mean, I think... Playing out engineer really was a weak play there because of the slowness of the nature of the business. I needed to keep up Pyroblast. Um, Magus has always been very strong here. Thorn has been good. Mind Braid Trap has been good. I know there's a lot of ways to figure this out. I, I don't know the exact method of it, but I just kind of go with intuition. A lot of the ways I play this, and that's what's fun for me is the intu intuitive side of it. Um, just watching the way they stack the pot. I've never really played this matchup in paper, but watching the way they, excuse me, stack in paper and, I mean, in, on the side here and just kind of figuring it out. It's more, it's where the fun is for me. Not, you know, stacking a magic pile, you know. It's like the most, it's weird. But anyway, good games. Um, let's have a little more fun here. Um, we knew the, the Mercurial Boys, that's the new word, Mercurial Boys. Um are going to be out there, you know what I mean, having fun with their new toys. You know, us painter guys are out here. Us painter people are out here, you know, playing. We got some new toys. We have, but we're, we're still staying strong. You know what I mean? We're doing our thing. We got lightning bolts that's been around since the ages of 93, you know, 94. Goblin Welder's been around since when? I don't even know. You tell me. Painter Grindstone, we're, we're authentic. We're legit. Of course, Brainstorm and Days and all that stuff has been around for years too, but we're staying strong. You know what I mean? We're keeping true, and that's good. That's a good thing. You got the dragon engine. We got a few new things. So take a breather. Let's hop in. I'll hop. Enough, enough of me chatting. I don't want to chat. No more chat. It's Saturday. Everybody's happy. You know what I mean? I got my coral reef tank kicking around here. This thing's awesome. Put a new coral in there. One of these gate. One of these days, I'll show you guys. I get some footage on my thing too. Um, like updates and stuff, what's going on with it. I'm really enjoying it. Um, but a month in. So it's been a cool, cool journey. I love the fish I got and shit like that. So anyway, it's hop in. Um what am I expecting? What do I got? I don't know. Last match was pretty cool though. Little it was a little risky. I could have used a land, dude. I don't know. So let's be on the play. Let's hope for a good hand. Oh. <sighs> I'm going to keep this. <laughs> I'm just trying to feel, I'm trying to get what I feel. Like imagine looking at this in your opening seven, you know what I mean? You're in paper, you know, you get your backpack leaned against your, your, your shin at a tournament. You know what I mean? Your little North Face backpack. You know what I mean? You look at your play mat. Like, if it was me right now, I'd be looking at this opening seven. I'd be flicking my cards, you know what I mean? I'm a flicker, you know? I flick. I'm a heavy flick. If you look at my card sleeves, I use KMCs. I know a lot of you guys like Dragon Shields. You know what I mean? KMCs do it for me. They're nice and clean. I trust them. You know, I've been doing it for years now. Um, but, you know, I'm flicking. What do I do? I'm looking at the guy. I can't see him. 
I see your screen name. I don't know what's going on. I'm flicking. A couple more flicks. What do I do? What do we do here? What do we do? Right? What do, what do we do? We got the combo. We got a nice turn two if things fail us. We have the city, which is kind of a risque, but it's a good land. And we have a fury. So we have a good interactive hand, but we don't know what's going on yet. I'm going to keep it. Let's do it. See what we can do. I'll play out a basic. Basically, take a pause, try try for a grindstone. Now, is there a reason to play out my Lotus Petal? I don't know yet. Probably is. Uh, probably not. Let's see. I could play it next turn. I kind of, now mind you, I want to play out the Lotus Petal. I never do. I never do because I don't want to give out information. I can pitch it to, to Fable. Um, but in this circumstance, I kind of feel like I want to. I don't know why. Mercurial Boys? Oh, it's a Mercurial Boy. Okay. Got six cards. Um, that's an Aether. I'll get around Daze. Now, I'll keep this Fable maybe for... Um, I'm not going to name Blue. <laughs> See if I get a Force of Will or whatever. Let's go to five cards of the Force of Will. Bitch. All right, so I got to keep the Painter in hand. I wonder if I play this Painter out right here to a daze. Or on top. He didn't pitch days, did he? What did he pitch? He pitched the days. So this is important to figure this out. Right, let, me, let me play out this thing. I'll name um, Black because I'm not going to have Pirate Blast hit my fucking painter again um, on my land. Anyway. Sure, on a bolt, okay. Three cards. What's he got going on? Instances, inst instantaneously. Okay, um, what do I want? Um, Simi Spirit Guy would be fine, yeah. I'll play into a daze here. That's good. See if he bolts this thing. Um, Yellow Bolt, uh, Unholy Heat. Okay, those are two cards here. Let's hope he taps out for a thing, Um What do you do? Card on top, okay. Wasteland's good. I have to get rid of these two cards. I'll get the um, Dragon Engine, I guess. So hopefully he doesn't have a removal spell. Another fucking bolt with a one card? Okay. So that's two bolts and a holy heat. Okay. Yep. Let's see what he has. One card. Out the land here.
Dark Tide region. <laughs> With the Scalding Tar and get a bolt on top. Um, so what do I need? I mean, I think it's going to have to be a... Uh, I don't even know yet. I mean, if I draw an Engineer, it would be pretty sweet. Or even a um, Goblin Welder might not be too bad. Got one card in hand. <laughs> so yeah, you get your, you get your little murkies. I mean, if I draw a red card, the kid plays his little mercurial spell dancer. Okay, you got it. So you got a five five and a one one. Okay, let me see. Rip me, baby. Give me a rip. Um, fuck. The rest. Um. You got zero cards in hand. I can mill. I have to. I have to leave up the mill. Even though I mill him, I could turn on his Dragon Rage channeler, which sucks, but whatever. So about two months ago, I could get away with this play by grinding his shit off the top. But these guys, I think, have been hit one too many times with the grindstone. So now he's thinking to himself, oh, if I put um, you know, lightning bolt on top of my deck, he's just going to mill it. But he's going to take the risk anyway, which is fine. But he goes, well, it makes my Dragon's Race channel at 3-3, so it's really good for me. Um, so these are the thinking processes I'm thinking along with the kid, the guy, the gentleman, the person, the player, the magic player, the opponent. Um, I'll just mill it because I'm going to mill it anyway. Makes this guy big. Let's see how it goes. I can't have them both this thing. And no fucking 3-3 three, three is good. Take 6 here. I go to 11. Okay. Land drop. Let me see here. Why well, just cast Phyrexian Dragon Engine? I do. Um, I don't like play. Play the good draws. I already played land, right? And attack for four, I guess. He's got one card in hand, this kid. And I can copy paint the next turn, hopefully. So at worst, I'm taking nine. What's he got in his hand? Power Blast wouldn't be bad here. I'm at five. I tap that thing for one for two. I'm screwed. All right. I mean, I'm dead next turn anyway, right? <sighs> so what I can do is, so I can start with a. Uh, all right. So let's take this out. I can start with a Goblin Welder. I can go to copy it. So welder's one, and if it resolves, it's good. Okay, because that keeps me low on mana. It's got two cards. So if I start with Goblin Welder, he has to. So if he has Force of Will, he the Force of Will's um, painter or welder. So he has to be smart enough to use his Force of Will here. I don't think he has a lightning bolt. I don't think he's that smart. I think he's smart, but I don't think he's that um, foreseeable with Ancient Tomb, God, God willing. Um, so let's take this out. Goblin Welder comes in, right? He might not force the will that. Okay. So if I play Goblin Welder, I can copy Welder with the reflection. Okay. 
and try to win. Now, if he has a removal spell, he kind of gets me anyway. Or if I just play out Painter and he force or wills it, um, I'm kind of screwed. So if I play out Painter at two red and he force or wills that, um, my Goblin Welder is dead in the water because I can't have enough mana to copy the reflection. Oh, God. Sucked up. I can copy, I can get Bray's Apprentice out too. Um, so let me think here. He'll, he'll just force the will. So let me see if I can catch him. My, my, my angle here is to catch the kid as to not see the reflection copy side. So if he has a force of will, which I think he has, or close to it, or a daze, no pyroblast. Um, hold on. And so my goal is to try to catch him. If he doesn't have, if he has a force of will, he might not force the will a goblin welder. Okay, but if he has a force of will, he'd be more apt to counter a painter because he'll get a C painter and freak. Now, either or is my decision because if I play welder, I can win if he doesn't have a kill spell, or if I play painter, either way, I think it's better to play painter here or welder here. I still have the win no matter what, right? Now that I see it. Let me see. <coughs> it is. So it doesn't matter how I play this. So, um, right here. So these, it doesn't matter. If I let that resolve, I still, if I pay one, I pay another one, copy, and then I can get, um, I have to go for a win here. It just needs a bolt. Ugh. It doesn't matter. I, I'm gonna take a two. I'm gonna take two off my tomb. I mean, a daze gets me here, but it doesn't matter. Or does it? If he has another daze, I'm fucked. So let me play around daze the other days then. Um. So I, I can play around the other days, right? And he won't daze it again, or will he? Uh, so if I pay one, I think I pay for days here. So I pay for one, I pay one for days. I can pay another days. Oh, I can't win next time. I'm going to pay for days. He has a removal spell. Oh, we got him. Oh, look, Emrakul. Fuck. Damn it. God dang it. It's always Emrakul, these guys. What the F? Fucking Price is Right, baby. Remember that thing? Remember Drew Carey with the little ball? I see it every time. His hair's waving his high. He's holding his high. He's like, oh, I love you guys. I do. You know, some people can't even spin that little wheel on the fucking Price is Right. Um, all right, so what we got? Any new tech? This guy playing Mercurial. Is he a Mercurial boy or a Delver boy? The new name is MB, Mercurial Boys. Okay, that's with the Z, boys. Um, kidding around. I love Delver. I played Blue Red for a long time. What we got. <clears throat> He's playing light, huh? What's he got? He's a Delver boy. Oh my god. It's a relic. 
He's a fucking relic, dude. We call that classic rock. He's playing some classic rock. Nowadays, classic rock is all these other new bands, Nirvana and shit. That's not classic rock. I mean, it is, but. All right, what am I bringing in? I'll bring in a, a Red Blast for a, um, a Lotus pedal. And I think he will play into Fury. Um, is it worth cutting a card for Fury here? I don't think so. I could cut. I'm not going to cut anything for Fury. I think Fury's good. Let's jump in. Let's see what we do. Oof. I don't know about this hand. My pitch target is engineer. I got to mull this. You know, just breathe for a second. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, the hand's fine. Um, I might. I kind of want to get rid of a painter. No, it's a mountain. Duh. I didn't, see, I didn't see the third mountain there. It's going to five. Um, let's see what's up. D DRC Delver's fine. I'm, I won't worry about that card right now. Um, play a goblin well there. It's, it's a play. Um, I don't love playing this out so early, um, but. It's a play. I have. I want to get one of these online. So, you know, Flipsy Doodle is card. I need a Pyroblast. We can get a fantastic draw. Ponder's fine. He's in a Ponder here. He goes to four cards again. Um, Wastelands. Let's see how this gets played out here. I'm going to play out. I don't know. We'll see. See how this gets played. I don't really concern myself with Delver. Until I get to like 10, 11 life, 8, 9, 10, 11 life. Um, this bolt is made for, um, he does not shuffle, gets a land drop. He's going to want, so he goes to two cards with a bolt. Um, got it. I'm going to be careful how I use my cards to his cards because it fills his graveyard for a murky boy. Ooh, give me a fucking, um, you know what. Um, let's get to, I just play out my lands here. I gotta watch out for um. So you have two cards in here. My concern is 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 um, I have the pyroblast for his guy, so in this circumstance I'll just do this. Um, I will lightning bolt this thing, and I'll attack for one here. The next turn I have painter slash pyroblast. Um, give myself a little wiggle room here. He doesn't want to kill my paint, my goblin mother. It's fine. He's got three cards now. If he has a wasteland, he's got a wasteland. Still fine. If he has a Merktad region, that's okay. If he has what, I have no idea. You know, expressive. But what's he have? A wasteland's good. That's a good draw. So now he has a Merktad region. So I have the pyroblast for the Merktad region. Um, so this is where. I, okay, got two cards. That's a good draw. <clears throat> Um, I'll play a little painter here. I'll name blue. See if I get dazed. And go. Do I have an artifact in my graveyard? I don't. I'll, I'm not going to attack. I mean, it's one damage. I know it matters, but the two cards, you know. So hold on. Three, four, five, six, seven. Those are two cards here. I guess that's fine. There was a decision to not to play painter and just hold up pyroblast for this card, but the problem is I just need this Pyroblast for his Merktide region. And I want to get this Fable going. Um, and if I draw, we'll see what he wants to do. He's going to want to find a land for free. And then he's going to want to, you know, there's a Scalding Tarn. Okay, he's going to want to fetch Bolt my, what, um, you know, Unholy Heat. I think he's going to Bolt here. He's holding it good. Attacking me for three. You got it. I need a land. Like an ancient, and a City of Traders is my best draw, I think. Or even a Saga. Okay, he's going to kill what? Those are two cards here. Kills my welder. That's smart. You have to do that. Uh, 
See if I get days out of this game. That's excellent. So he should be at 15 because I didn't attack last turn, which I hope doesn't matter for me. But he's got two cards now. And he might even have a Wasteland he's saying bagging. My name blue, right? I did. Okay. Yeah, buddy. It's a free tree. And a lightning bolt. What's he hitting? A painter? Trigger? Um. I'll let that happen. Yep. Use a fury here, guys. It doesn't matter, really, does it? Was he got one card left and a waste? I knew he had the wasteland. So, um, I'll get rid of this and this. That's excellent. <clears throat> kind of. So it's gonna be a close game. Get zero cards in hand. I have to need. I have to find like a lightning bolt or something here. So I, I go to five and then I go to two. I have to find something off of this. So I'll use my red elemental blast here in case he has a surgical because I have more blasts in my deck than I do red blast. And I need to find something, guys. And what's he have? Mark Tide region. It's my best draw. Um, a lightning bolt to start. That's good if he mills this. What's he gonna do? Uh, still a three three, sure. Oh, it's a fucking peel. Um, I mean, I have to play out the um, Apprentice here. Comes with a Flyer. Excellente. I have to block with the thought there. And I can get that soul guide lantern out of my deck next turn. Don't have another Mark Tide region, please. Revoked. Let's see hit here. Sure. Hits that, that's fine. Hey, is it just artifact, right? So what's his top card? Oh, it's a fucking peel. I make a creature. Um, I think I just make a creature. Yeah, it's right. Attack him. Uh, 
Um, what does he have? Land, creature, sorcery, instant. And he has many creatures in there. Um, how many sorceries does he have? One. Light of sorcery. That's always this card they like. Bring this thing down. Ah, oh, it was maybe wrong to do that. That's, ah, it's, okay, so let me rewind. It was a little wrong to do that. I want this kid to attack into my stuff. Um, he's got zero cards in hand. Trigger makes my guys fat. Um, I can copy shit next turn. I have the blast for whatever he has. I will counter anything he's got. Trigger. I blast this. He put surgical in his graveyard. The games. Whew. Games. He's not a mercurial boy. Ignore that. That's for the future. But that's something to keep in mind. Mercurial. Um, this is still a Delver boy. He's still staying true to his roots. Um, that's good. Good games. I'm kidding around. Love you too. Good games. It was a good game. Very good game. Very interactive. I had things to do. I drew well. Um, made some good decision points. It was good. I got to, I got to, I got to play lands. I got to play creatures. I got to make decisions. He got to do the same thing. He got to play lands, make creatures and make decisions. And that's what magic's about. It's good. I don't, you know, combo is part of the format, stuff like that. But there was no turn one kills. It was all good. Um, so Ingachu or <laughs> Surgical Extraction. Um, what's my play here? Okay, so I Power Blast that. He comes in, he attacks. I block with the um, with the token. I can sack the Soul Guide Lantern, make that thing a 1-1 one, one in combat because he has to attack. And I block and I and I draw a card. See my card is... Can't do it. Okay. Let's go to match four. Um, starting to heat up here a little bit in my apartment, but that's okay. All right, let me go to match four. Let's go. Let's hop in. I'm ready. Let me get some more coffee real quick. All right, what else we chat about? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. Fucking running through. We get some nice... Bray's Apprentice has been fucking cool. I've been off for her for like a couple months now. I just think that... I like my deck streamlined, but there's nothing wrong. And I've always said it, even when I wasn't playing it, that she was a great card. And um, it's... I think I might be, it's just more like a refreshment thing for me. Like when you're playing the card for so long, you want to play with other things, no matter how good they are, you still want to just switch it up a little bit. Um, I just think that Bray's Apprentice is such a good card anyway. It's such a welcome top deck. It's pretty sweet with copies abilities. It just adds to the, the, the ingenuity and the pressure that Painter gives with Fable of Mirror Breaker copying it, Goblin Welder Engineer. Um, it blocks very well. It's a good card and I'm happy to have it back. And the, the thing is about this is, I'm playing it today, and I'm happy about it. So I'm excited about it, and it makes me happy to play it. Whereas if it was always in my deck, it'd be like, okay, it's part of the deck, which is good. But this is part of the appeal is that I switch it up a little bit, and I'm okay to um, <clears throat> have it. Um, get a mulligan in his hand. I can't keep this. Let's talk it out a little bit. Um Turn one grindstone, and I could have a welder activation up, but, you know, if I have to draw a mountain, it'd be like an engineer for, like, friction dragon engine or something, you know what I mean? So I just don't have red. It's definitely a mulligan, so let me, let me see if I can't catch a mulligan real quick. Okay, hands better. Uh, let's get rid of a mountain here. Let's see what's up.
can tell these kids all worked up over Mercurial Spell. I can already tell. Actually, they, don't, they cut Delver for the card, right? I don't even know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just expecting the card today. What do you got? That's a good draw. Um, I'm going to play a mountain. I wish I had like an ancient tomb, but I don't. Uh, five cards in hand. Let's let's take this out. Turn one Delver. I know the kid's got an expression, expressive. Paul has a force of will. Feels good about his hand because he had force of will in his hand and some pressure. I'm fine with that. I'm going to take a couple turns, pay attention to what he's doing, tune into his game. And this is where the painter servant comes in. This is where the painter deck comes in, is tuning in. Okay, so what's up? What's he want to do? What's his thinking? What's he up to right now? What is he? What's this? How do I feel about this <laughs> this event? I'm just telling you, this is how I think. Okay, I can. There's, there's this information being given here that the pace of play, the turn one Delver. I mean, he knows. I just I just have a feeling of what's going on. So I don't feel bad about this. So I also have to draw some stuff. Um, a lightning bolt. Okay, good to know. I don't think I care about anything on his turn two. I want a pyroblast. I might just not play painter out. Okay. There's that lightning bolt. I think I hold this card. Because I don't want to give him a scry. I don't want to give him, he has that bolt. I don't want to give him cards for his graveyard for Mark Tide region. He's got four cards. I have Pyroblast at the ready here. Play a little patient, you know what I mean? Could be a little too cute, um, but might even just want to hit his Delver here. I don't know. We'll see. Play around days, too. It's another reason not, not to. Uh, So now, if he doesn't have a land drop, he puts a, a dragon ring. I'll, I'll, I'll power blast this. He has that lightning bolt of three cards. That thing is not a 3 3 yet. Next turn, um, there's his land. So he has that lightning bolt of two cards. And what? A fury would be a good draw. I do have three of them in my deck. So brainstorm, that brings it to creature land sorcery. So that is six damage. So he has that lightning bolt. So I gotta play fast. I need land drops. Instant sorcery creature land. Okay. Okay. Got three cards. Take a brainstorm. Okay. Yep. That's good. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I have to get the engine out. I have to get him to use his lightning bolt here. I'm just trying to think if I want to play. I'm not going to play. I'm, I was going to play into a daze and get cute, but I'm not going to do that. Play out um, engineer here. So they they know I go for Phyrexian Dragon Engine that we do. That we do. It's our card of choice. So they always force the will this card. Because, I mean, I have it in my hand, but um, they know the game now. It's kind of like manually grinding a kid with, like, the with the Mystic Sanctuary. They know about that play. I, I used to give a real to I see the Force of Will. It's great. It goes to one card. It is. And so he has that Lightning Bolt in his hands. I'm not going to fight this because I know he has – I don't think I fight this card, do I? Check the card on top. Um – I know he has that lightning bolt, so it's fine. That guy's here. See what he does. <clears throat> I know he has that bolt, so if he has a daze, he got me. Either way, if he had daze, it is what it is. If he put a daze on top, that would suck.
I gave him the draw step, which is fine, I guess. Okay, so he has that lightning bolt. See if I can rip here. He has a Merktai region too with the lightning bolt. That's just that's just tough beats for me. It is what it is. I didn't play out engineer sooner than I should have, maybe, but I don't think it matters. Okay, I need just pyroblast here. I know he has that bolt. Um, that's just lethal, right? Six, seven. I go to. I mean, he has that lightning bolt. Oh, he dazed it. I got picked off. See that? He picked me off. He played right. He played me like a fiddle. Like a fiddle. Like a fiddlestick. If I rate if I rate the play between 1 and 10, it was like a 2. 10 being the best. But I got played. I'm okay with it. Velvet Boy got me. I like it. I like getting played. It's nice because it humbles me a little bit. I need to get humbled every now and then. You know what I mean? <laughs> we all do. All right. So what, what was my mistake? I don't know. Did I, did I play out Engineer? Should I have played out Engineer there? Probably. Sometimes I like to play that way, a little, a little cutesy. Try to get, try to maximize. For instance, I got the, I got the force of will out of them, which was pretty good. Um, you never know. Sometimes you got to kind of like, don't think about yourself. Think about what the guys got planned. I, I say it all the time. Like, try to get in their head and, and finagle them. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's your only out. A lot of times it gets right down one life, two life, shit like that. So. Um, See if I can't come in here. I'll be, I'm ready. Let's go. So he wasn't mercurial, right? He was just over. Okay. The only thing I could have done here was another Fury here, but I just think they're on the play. I'm not. I, I know um, it's fine, but I just wanted to be on the play. Ah! Fuck! Here we go. What's he got? Meltdown? I'm fucked as a meltdown. Um, I can't not keep this. We'll keep it for the video. I'll show you guys what's up. It is what it is. I, mean, I have a, it's a busted hand here, so I mean, Wasteland sucks, but whatever. I have the, if, if I didn't have the Fury and all everything else, it would be a different story, so let's see what's up. I need a basic mountain, please. That's fine, too. I like that play. Um, just to get around, um, just to get around meltdown, I think I just play this card. <laughs> See if I get dazed or a force of will. Force of will, pitch an expressive. Okay, so you have four cards. It's got to have a wasteland here. So another force of will goes. That's good. Um, so next turn, we'll see how it goes. I can, I can get some fatties out. God fucking willing, guys. Hydroblast. If I have a hydroblast, give me my own pyroblast, please. I'm gonna make creatures here anyway. So I think I just get rid of um Okay. Sure. 
Ah, uh, should I have played out? Um, no, it doesn't matter. That's sorcery instant lands. Sorcery instant land. Delver. Okay, I got two cards. And what? You know, wasteland. Okay. One card. Oh, it's appeal. I mean, if he has meltdown, he's got meltdown. I can't play around this card so for so long. He's, he's at, I'm at 19 here. I'll play out this thing. Got one card in hand. Trigger. And I'll play this out too. Any can trip, I'm gonna have to hit here. Anything. That gives these guys three trees. It's taking a lot of damage next turn. Minor missed up, sure. Triggers, sure. I can kill him next turn if he attacks, right? Or no? See my top cards. So that's six. Attacking me. Let's see what I draw. So that's. If I sack an artifact, though, it doesn't work. So it's plus two plus zero. Oh. So it'll be five. So I can't kill him here. Um, bring him to one here, I think. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, bring him to one. Even with a meltdown, I can, I can read, I can look again. Oh, hit him up. Combat damage. Reveal. Good game. Fuck another city of traders. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Some beats. Bray's Apprentice coming in nice. What's your name, Brea? Talk to me, sweetie. I want to know more about you. I want to know, you know, what you like, what you like to do, what makes you happy. What do you like, sweetie? Talk to me. Want to go shopping? Just kidding. Whack, dude. Whacked. I get too much coffee. You guys see me. You guys have been here the whole time. We drink the coffee like a maniac. Um. I think I want to cut some stuff here. I'm not sure.
Oh, you fuck. Um, two cards. This one goes. And... I'll use my mana. I get dazed, I get dazed. <clears throat> Ooh, he got me. So, I would have hit my Goblin Welder. Another card you guys got to watch out for is this card here. Minor misstep, counter target spell, mana cost value once. That's a fine card against us, I guess. I don't know. It is a card to pay attention, though. So, what do you do? He shuffles. Okay, that's good. Basic Mountains or a Fable or whatever it is here will be fine. Sunni Spirit Guy will be a bad draw. Um, so I get dazed. I'll get the engineer, I guess. Yeah, I got a bolt for that, buddy. I'll put this in the graveyard and see what happens. Great draw. Play it. Go oh, Hydro Blast on him. Foster Will pitching a Delver. See if he has a daze on him. Hit him. Hit him. Ah, it's good. Got two cards. See what's up. What's this? Um, I don't even know. He's got two cards now. Trop. Won't be a Minskin Boo. Okay. So what's he put on a bolt? Let's see what he does here. Or a ponder. Ponder. Fuck that card. I wasn't even expecting it. All right. Come on, baby. Give me some draw steps. You coming in for four? Got one card in hand. Um, I have to get rid of both these, right? What am I looking for? Fucking, I have no idea. About this, so you can kill my painter next turn. Um. I can cast a Fable to Mirror Break. I have that Phyrexian Dragon Engine too. I think I get rid of both these. Um, I'm looking for a Fury, I guess. Um, that's not the worst draw here. Hmm. All right, so if I attack into the creature, it blocks. And I can kill a token and still draw cards. Or I don't, yeah, I have the red, I have the red man. So let me, um, let me just attack. I think that's so why I attack. I can reanimate, I can reanimate right now. 
Um, and try to kill his. Uh, I don't think that's right. So if I. And in combat, I can't, I don't have enough red. It's double red, right? So. Uh, so I have to figure out what I want to draw. Let me, uh, so if I start with attacking. I think I just reanimate, um, Bricks and Dragon Engine, not even worry about Bolt. Because I can bring his guy to two, I guess, and he's going to have to block. I just think it's a better play that way. Call me crazy. Did I play land this turn? I did not. Oh, it's such a good fucking peel. Uh, so I attack his, his deal, right? Get one card. Oh, that's fine. Oh, did I not play a fucking land like a meat stick? He's got one card? If I get days, I'll be upset. I didn't play a land so bad. I'll attack his guy. I'll be so upset if I get dazed. I don't think it matters, though. Okay, blocks there. It takes two. Oh, is that fucking good? I have to go with this fucking land. I already played land. Oh, it's good. In the wasteland. Okay. We hitting. Okay. He knows my top card. I'm going to hold that great furnace. He knows about my mountain. That's fine. There's a reason maybe to hold that welder. The copy abilities. Oh, is that fucking good? <sighs> Let me not fuck this up. Um, I can get grindstone, right? Can I win? Um, do I, have, I think I have enough mana, right? I do. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to go for it here. And if he's got, if he has what he has, he has it. So let me um. Let me, let me, um, let me attack first. Let's get a grindstone here. What's the will days? Okay. Um, can I do anything here? I have a painter in my graveyard. I can copy this thing next turn. Um, okay, 
That's good. So he has a blast here. I just get a painter in play here. Um, what do I weld out? Probably a token here, right? I'll just name blue, I guess. Sure. Nice stone. Um, what can I do here? So I can keep copying the tokens. It doesn't matter. I'll do that end step. So um, I can do that now. So it's two, four. I guess I just do that now. Put pressure on. Sure. Sure. <clears throat> My next card. Oh, is that fucking okay? Um, get one card. Um, I think I gotta cast this thing now. Four damage, but we send that four. One card. I gotta play this thing out. On bolts. I have attack with these two things. Sure. Box. Okay. 
Bring them on. Hydroblast is off the thing. Does that matter to me? Okay. It's telling me he's got nothing. Okay. Got another one of those? I think he does. All right, good games. I don't know. I, if if I had, it was a close one. I mean, let me show my hand. I think he might show me his. I think he had the hydroblast. You just tell him. Oh, he had to show me his, his surgical. All right, so he had the surgical. Uh, close game. It was good games. I don't know what else to say about it. Close. It's always a nail. My heart's racing. Uh, good games. I don't know. If I had lost, I would have been upset. I would have. It's not fucking fair to lose to Minskambu, right? Um, he had the hydroblast. Good games. <laughs> So what I, that's what I show up for. This is why I play this deck. This is why I play Magic. This is why I play Legacy. This is great, great entertainment for me. It's great. It's a great. Um, it's very. It's very um, satisfying to play this way, right? You guys see what's going on. Um, Fable the Mirror Breaker, very powerful card. Watch out for for mental uh, for minor misstep and hydroblast, right? So up into another one. Not bad. Meek's been going okay. Let's see what's up. Right. Um let's go. I'm ready to go. Let's hop in. Mono red painter. Games. That was good games. <laughs> of course you know it, you know. I'm not gonna talk about it. I like I like having four bolts in the deck right now. I think it's where you want to be. Um, so Um, so this guy looks like he's an Elves player. And if that's the case, I keep this hand. I hate doing this. I really do. I dislike it. I don't care for it. But it's to my access, so I'm going to do it anyway. Um, 
I mean, even even if it is elves, if I still fucking keep his hand, that's a problem. I'm on the draw. Uh, so Fury here. I guess I try this. Could be a mulligan. I know he's elves. I don't know. There's like five finishes of elves. So. Probably still worth a mulligan, but if I go to six, what's my best card to draw? Fury. So Fury, I'm pitching already. I'm already pitching a card to Fury, so I go to five. Rail technically. I mean, I, and then I have a lightning bolt, which is pushing me over the edge here. Goblin Weller does nothing, but whatever. Try it out. All right, so I'm not going to hit this. I'm going to wait to see what he plays on his next turn. Um... Sure. Hey. I might have to use my Fury here because so you have four cards in hand. You already played a land. <clears throat> Urza Saga would be a great draw, I guess. Or a Painter. It's not a bad draw. <clears throat> I know he has Collector Roof on his deck. He's got that Fiend Artisan card. I think it's just worth a Fury here anyway. Yeah, he's stopping me in my draw step for some reason. Um, see if I can get another turn out of this. Um, I have to Fury here. I can't not, right? I don't know if I'm going to play out Goblin Welder this turn. Um, I can always pitch it to Fable, and I don't have any artifacts, so I'm just going to play out this. And um, let me see what happens here. I got to fake. I got to fake out some interaction here, some bolts or something. You know what I mean? Ancient Tomb would be fine, I guess, to start. <laughs> you know, another Fury would be good. I imagine he has a snuff out on him. We'll see. He wouldn't be playing his cards out if he didn't have action here. Okay. Two cards. Ah. Oh. 
Disneyland. And I have to name, I mean, if he if he has a snuff out, it goes to one card in hand, I have to just shoot for the blue here. Um, and I have to be careful how I play this because I can't play too fast to give the kid information, you know what I mean? Um, so cards to watch out here for you, for you guys are, um, it's going to be, um, it's like they're packing. Um, some of these guys are putting, um, what's the card? Um, guy is Blessing which shuffles their library back in the graveyard. I don't know if this guy is doing that. It doesn't look like he is. Um, so I'm going to have to just play a painting in blue here. He has a snuff out. It goes to one card. Um, A fucking draw. Um, so pace of play is important here to calm down a little bit. Two cards is telling me he either has an endurance, which I think he's got, right? They play endurance. Let's see what's up. Do they even play endurance? Um, they have another glimpse of nature in his hand. Well, there's a saga here. <clears throat> And I'll play out, I'll just relax a little bit, tune in a little bit, see what's up, okay? He's got two cards in hand, what's he have? Then they could play, I, I didn't see Endurance. I don't know they do have Endurance. Let me just see what's up. Another land drop would be fine here. I wouldn't mind like an Ancient Tomb. Um, They have a fatty in his hand too. They do have Bosage in their deck too, so I'm gonna watch that. You can get you can get a Bosaju here. So I'm gonna count on this. So his last card could be snuff out, and if he does have that, I still count I counter snuff out. One card left. That's a good draw. I need a land drop at some point here. Is that one card left? I would have rather a land drop there. Not rather. Actually, I kind of would have. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. So my land drop is contingent upon next turn. So next turn, I could use an ancient tomb. All right. Um,
I'm going to get Grindstone and try to win. We have zero cards in hand. I mean, do they have guys blessing main deck? <laughs> I mean, I'm all nervous. What's in their deck I could lose to? I can put my draw land. Oh boy! All right, so it looks like um, collector roof, endurance, leyline of the void, snuff out, come on, all right? Let's bring in some uh, furies. What's his mana base look like? I think I might want. Um, I'm gonna bring in pithy needle. I'm gonna leave in soul guide lantern. I'll cut the engine. I'll cut Braze Apprentice. I'll cut one bird blast to two. Let me just streamline a little bit. So I want fast mana, kind of. I have goblins are fine. Bolts good. These are all. I need my red card up. My count up, right? Um, Fable's kind of an extra. So let me just go back to my sideboard and find out. So Mind Break Trap is fine. I don't love Mind Break Trap, but it's a card. So let me bring in some Magus of the Moon because I know that card. Actually, they play Snuff Out, so this card's kind of weak for me. Let me bring in my Braid Trap. I'll bring in the Braid, and I'll bring in this card. And I have four cuts. He might bring in Leyline of the Void. So I think on the draw, Fable's a little slow. Um, all right. Um, let's see. Let I can do without Fable on the draw, um, without the engine on the draw. I really want to bring in Magus, but I just think it's a trap due to the fact um, I even like my Embrace Trap in this matchup. I guess it's okay. Um, I'm going to bring in, I'm going to leave the Soul Guide Lantern. I think he might have, uh, he might be bringing in Dai's Blessing. So it's a card to have in the deck. I think it's fine. Um, so what do I want? I have one more cut. Um, could be just a Pyroblast in the draw here. I do want blue cards up. Um, let me cut a Lotus Petal. And I kind of, we'll see. I kind of, I mean, it's three snuff out they bring in. <laughs> it's three snuff out they bring in. Um, so I don't know if I want the Magus. I think it's kind of a trap for me to bring in Magus in the draw. So let me see what's up. I have 60 cards here. Is there anything I want? Um, I think I'm fine. Oh, I'll And fine to me. Oh, I can rip a fury, be really good. I keep this hand. It's going six. They line? No. <clears throat> um
and I'll watch out for um, collect the roof, okay? Interesting decision here. Now, if I draw a painter, um, my blast is turned off. How effective is, um, I don't know if I should kill a sentinel or the um, Allosaurus Shepherd, to be honest with you. The Allosaurus Shepherd's a little more unassuming. The Nettle Sentinel's more, the Sentinel's more powerful. I think I might be leaving up a braid next turn. So let me just kill the, um, let me just get, this is going to bite me in the ass later. I think I just a braid in grindstone here, or I think it's just worth it. Um, oh, is it worth that to do that? Um, I just want to use my mana correctly. He's got three cards in hand. I think I just a braid, and uh, or do I not? It's risky, dude. I think he might have some snuff outs in his hands. Um, I want to use my mana correctly here. I could leave up a turn here and just kind of leave up a braid, see what he does. I'm taking my, myself off so much, though. It could be just Great Furnace here. I'll leave up a Braid anyway. And then next turn, play out um, Fable Grindstone, see where it takes me. Um, let's see what he has. I think it might be a better shot than just a Braiding this thing, because this thing's kind of unassuming. Now, if I play out my Great Furnace, I'm, I'm bringing myself into Collector Roof territory, which might be fine because he might want to. Green Sun next turn for an oof. I can float mana. So let me um let me chill for a bit. Put this out. Could have been just a, an ancient tomb there, but the red is is a premium. Um so we'll see what happens. Um see what happens. So hold on a second. So that's one. So if he has just, I think I gotta kill this thing. There's the oof. Like I knew he had, but it's fine. He's got two cards. I need a fury. I knew he had it. Still, I had to do that. Okay. Or a painter would be fine.
Draw. I brought in Blood Moon. <laughs> you got three cards. Okay, I'll just snuff out though. Um, really grindstone in hand right now. I fucking knew I was going to draw it, too. <laughs> fucking retarded. Okay, what do you got? Calm down. I got to calm down. Three cards in hand, this kid. Hold up, Magus. I can copy next turn in response to a removal spell. Listen this upkeep. <clears throat> we got four cards. Um, I'll blast the oof and I can respond. I can respond by copying, right? Heads up. Does he have um I, I I'm 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 forgetting this, but let me see if he has what I think he might. Oh, we got him. Hit him up. Let's go. Mono red. See, I can play blue, red. You know what I mean? I play mono white. I was thinking of a mono green deck, but I don't want to get that. I don't want to get crazy. Here we go. Good fucking league. I drew well. First match with the first game. <laughs> I got to go back. Um, are you still there? You're still there. Good. So these guys leave. All right. Good games. Um, I got lucky with that. It was a good game. Good league. Um, I had fun doing it. If you guys can learn anything with some of these new cards, um, pay attention. Um, minor missteps a card. I guess this new fucking Mercurial Spell Dancer card. People are fucking crying over this card. They love it. These blue guys can't get enough. Let's see what the variations look like. I know with all the other decks, it's like, oh, we're going to fit this in, fit this in, fit this in. It's all the same. It's, it's like all this blue stuff. I don't know. It's cool. I used to play blue. Um, I kid around, have fun. Love blue, I love the blue guys. I'm a blue guy too. Um, uh, cards to watch out for sequencing. You guys know it. The elves. Biggest thing I want to say here on my exit is listen, the Eldrazi's are coming in with the mono white initiative decks. The Eldrazi's are coming in with the red decks, with the prison decks. We have guys blessing coming in with the elves decks and some of these other decks. We have stuff happening. So pay attention. Pain is a lot of game. Just kind of keep up. Just. Give them a soul read, you know what I mean? Find out what's going on. All you guys out there that are watching the videos, they're having fun with me. I love you guys. Stay strong. Um, pay attention. And Legacy is a great format. Let's keep it strong, all right? Um, and hope you guys are doing well. And I'll keep them coming. So God bless and stay safe. I'll see you guys next time.